Wanna know how I made this? Definitely keep watching. See you in my tutorial. Hi guys, this is Chelle with the Fashion Fairy and welcome to class. So in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at a very full six piece skirt and this is essentially what it looks like. It has three panels in front and for the back, we'll be introducing a style line which will also uh, form the zipper line and this is what it will look like. And so we'll be adding a zipper up until this point and then the rest will, will uh, just be a style line. So, but you can also adapt this into something else. You can add a tail to this. And essentially the tail is usually longer than the rest of the skirt. So work with me guys and I'm going to be showing you. So this is what the zipper will look like. And of course it will be running into the band as well. And this is what the tail will look like if you were to add a tail to this. But for this class, I wouldn't be adding a tail to it um but i'll be adding i'll be showing you what i will do so my bind height is two inches um this means that i'm going to be taking away two inches from all my vertical measurements so the hip i'm working with is 40 to 43 and the uh waist to my hip is nine but i'm going to be removing um two inches of band height and it's now going to be seven then my waist to my knee i'll be removing two inches of band height as well and then the entire length of the uh, skirt which is 45 i'll be removing two inches as well so all those ones in circles are the uh, measurements i'll be using for this class so um to calculate this my center panel is my nipple to nipple measurement and my nipple to nipple measurement of course is eight inches and i'm going to be adding one inch for for, for the sewing allowance and it's now going to be um uh, nine inches and i'll be dividing this by by two so um my hip divided by two minus eight inches uh and then divided by two makes the panel so and there are uh two, two panels in front of this and this so this is the calculation i'll be using for for these panels in front and it will also be uh for the panels behind as well so this is what i got when i calculated mine uh, do well to use your own measurement this is not a standard you have to use your measurement to get this and also for the waist um i'll be sharing with you how i'll get the waist. so i'm just calculating um this um the hip i'm working with sorry is 44 not 43 i said 43 earlier is 44 and i'm dividing this by two once you do this you get your front uh measurement so your entire hip divided by two gives you the entire length of the front and the rest of the 22 will be for the back so um the 22 inches is for the entire front and will be minusing the nipple to nipple measurement from it which is eight in my case and whatever you have will be shared into two to make up the two other panels for the front. So 22 inches, that's the entire width for the front minus my nipple to nipple measurement will give me 14 inches. And this would be for the two panels in front. So because we have to make up for each of the panels, we have to divide this further by two so that we can get seven for one side and another seven for the other panel. So seven for this side, seven for this side, and the center piece is eight and it will make up 22 inches for the entire front. I'll call this panel one and I'll call this panel two. So each of the panels are 7 inches each and the middle one is 8 inches. I hope you got that. So going over to the cutting table, I'm going to be folding my fabric into two. Um, not exactly into equal halves, but I'm going to make sure at that point I have at least 10 inches on fold and this would be the entire width 
of the lower part of my skirt for the middle panel. So going over to my paper, I'm just going to use all the vertical calculations that I made earlier. Remembering that I have a band height of 2 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and measure all the way. So before I do this, I'm going to be creating a top line to enable me get all my me vertical measurements accurately. From this point, I'm going to be measuring my waist to my hip, but unfortunately I forgot to deduct the panel uh, the band height of 2 inches which I corrected so I marked 7 inches at this point my waist to my knee is um, 18 inches minus the band height of 2 inches and that is 16 inches so here's my hip line and this is my knee line the entire length of my skirt is 45 inches and I removed 2 inches of band height and I got 43 inches so this is what I'm marking at this point plus the hemming allowance of one inch so remember my nipple to nipple measurement this is where I'm placing it and I'm going to place it on the waist on my hip and also on my knee and I'm going to mark from this point all the way to the hem and we already have our center panel all done and dusted folding this again i'm going to be marking 13 and a half inches as my width the width of the lower part so i'm just folding my fabric to make sure i have at least 13 and a half inches at this point placing my center piece on this I'm going to be um, tracing out my knee line and this will serve as a guide for me to connect it all the way to the hem. So now that I've done this, I'm going to be marking one and a half inches and this would serve as my zipper allowance and I'm going to be marking it, connecting it all the way to my hem like so. With a straight line, I'm going to be connecting the one and a half inch mark that I made all the way to the waistline our back panels are ready so i'm just going to be notching the knee area so that it will be easier for me to put these things together when it's time for me to sew so folding this again i'm going to be deriving our panels our side panels both for the front and for the back and remember our calculation right so this is the calculation that we'll be needing to mark these panels and get them out so folding my fabric once again um please note that i always flip it to the other side especially if you're working with a fabric that doesn't have any specific designs you can do this so that you will save your fabric but if you have a design fabric you have to follow the pattern as needed so this is me placing my center panel on my fold just to get out the vertical lines that I need for these other panels. Having gotten this sorted, I marked 5 inches away from the fold like so and I'm going to use a straight line to connect it all the way to the top part. So watch how I did this. So from that 5 inch mark, I measured my hip measurement divided by 4 and added 2 inches of sewing allowance. So from that 5 inch mark that I marked inwards, I measured my hip measurements and I marked it. And I'm also marking the same measurement on my knee line. So the measurement I have on the hem is 21 inches. So on the knee line, we'll be going in by one and a half inches. If you're working with for a plus size model, you can go ahead and mark one inch at this point. I'll be using my ruler to connect all the markings from my hip to my knee and from my knee to the hem, which I marked 21 inches.
Remember the 5 inch mark I made earlier? I'll be using my ruler to connect it all the way from my knee up to my waist. And I'll also be using a ruler to mark from my knee all the way to the hem. But before I do this, I'm going to be measuring exactly what I have on my on my hip and I'm going to be removing one inch and I'm going to be marking same on the waist. This is because I want to be using elastic for the waist. If you're not going to be using elastic, you can do well to put your waist measurement at this point. Here, I'll be adding half inch also at the hip line and also on the waistline and this will serve as my joining allowance to the other panels. From this half inch mark, I'm going to be ruling a line to touch the hemline. Going in one more time, I wanted to make sure I had the right measurements already marked out. At this very point, I'm going to be measuring one inch up and I'm going to be using my free hand to blend it all the way in. You can use your cup ruler if you have this. This is so that the sides will not be sharp. The side panels are ready. This will also be used to cut two more panels for the back. And for this, you will also be putting your fabric on, on fold, placing it on top. You're going to be cutting exactly the same thing for the sides for the back. So now I have four panels. This is me making a mark to make sure I know where the back is. So these are the sides and I'll also be bringing out the entire pieces so that you will know how to put these things together. So these are the front pieces, the side front. I'm also going to be adding the center panel to this and I'm going to be joining it, joining it all the way down. Of course, I'll be using these panels to cut my lining pieces as well. And this is the back and you can see that the back is not on fold and the one and a half inches that we added for the zipper allowance we're also going to be using it to install our zipper i'll be using these pieces to cut out my lining pieces as well i already did that off camera and these these are the pieces that i have i've already gone ahead to also place paper stay on the lining and these are the rest of the lining pieces. I expect you to do so as well. So I'll be going ahead to attach these pieces together. I'm going to be using half inch and I'm going to sew it all the way down. Same applies to the other side as well. And I'm also going to be doing same for the lining. So I already did that off camera and this is the result guys. You can see that the lower part, the hem is very, very full. And you can see that there are no excesses. You can also see there are no um, wrinkle lines. So um, if you found this video helpful guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching guys. See you in my next tutorial. I love you. Bye. And please don't criticize my dancing steps. <laughs> Bye guys. Love you.